So in today's world, if you're looking for a brand new smartphone and you choose a Samsung phone such as the Galaxy S23 Ultra, that means one of two things, maybe even a combination of both. Either A, you're a baller, or B, you're just plum crazy and just feel like spending a crap ton of money. But if you're on a nice little budget and you got about $800 to spend, you can choose between either the OnePlus 11 or the Google Pixel 7 Pro. So let's go ahead and eliminate this Galaxy S22 Ultra because today's video is about matching up the nicest, I mean, this is absolutely the best smartwatch Android has to offer, which is the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, and mixing it up and matching it with a Google phone such as the Pixel 7 Pro or the OnePlus 11. Hey, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine TikTok. Look at my watch, Richardson, because like I said, we're gonna be matching this bad boy up with an Android phone such as the Google Pixel Pro or the OnePlus 11. Now, although I do have the Google Pixel 7 Pro here, I actually have the watch paired up with the OnePlus 11. They're both Android phones. Oxygen OS 13 is actually running on the OnePlus 11, laid properly on top of Android 13. So that's what we're gonna be matching this Galaxy Watch 5 Pro up to today. Now, if you've been paying attention to the channel, you'll see that the OnePlus 11 is actually my favorite phone right now, even though the S22 Ultra exists. I just absolutely love this phone because of its performance, its camera, and its charging and battery management. So being that I was using it long-term, I had to match it up to my Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro because I needed a smartwatch to go with it. And I decided to see if it would actually work. So as a spoiler, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that everything seems to work for me 100%. Now, I'm not sure why you would want to, but you can use some Samsung Pay on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro when it's paired up to a typical Android phone. You just tap it right there and it launches Samsung Pay. I don't have it actually set up on this phone because I'm pretending like I don't have a Samsung phone, which you probably don't either if you're shopping for a Google uh, Pixel or a OnePlus 11. So we'll go ahead and slide down to uh, Android Pay or Google Wallet. Here it is right there. There's your card. You can add as many as you need to and all you got to do is tap and pay because that's how Google Wallet works and it works flawlessly just like it would on a Pixel watch or the OnePlus watch. The reason I'm not showing you those today is because I don't like them. I, I, tr I really do not like the design of them. I'm a big fan of how Samsung designs its smartwatches. So that's why we're talking about this today. Now you might have different reasons for wanting a smartwatch connected to your phone. A lot of people it's notifications. A lot of people it's talking on the phone because this has a speaker. It does not have cellular uh, data or anything like that, but it does have a speaker. So when it's connected to your phone via Bluetooth, you can actually take your phone calls or even send text messages back and forth. So you can actually do that on this watch even if it is connected to a Pixel 7 Pro or any Pixel for that matter or any other Android phone because this is using Wear OS, not Samsung Tizen. So you can go into your Google App Store right there and download all of your stuff if you're gonna be using it for pretty much anything. And one of the main things people use this watch for is fitness. So you can see right here, I have Samsung Fitness or what is it, Samsung Health. So you got your Samsung Health here, which Samsung will actually let you download from the Play Store and put it on an Android phone and use it as if you were using a Samsung phone. They've opened it up because they want you to be able to share all the connectivity with your new smartwatch and whatever phone you're using. But since we're actually gonna pretend like you do not have a Samsung phone, we're gonna scroll down here because I've actually downloaded Google Fit and Strava. I know a lot of you Strava people out there are wondering, will this work with Strava? Yeah, man, you can do your Strava. You gotta download it on your phone first, and then you can connect it to your app on your, um, on your watch, which you'll have to download separately onto your watch. And you can see there I've got ride, run, swim, and hike, and walk, and alpine ski, backcountry ski, badminton, canoe, and that's a lot of activity. That that that's a lot. Look, if I, 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 do gravel riders do hit training and hand cycling, like you know, like if you golf. Are you gonna also be uh, like, let me see, cr crossfitting or canoeing? Like do golfers canoe? I don't know, I just it just kind of came up in my head because I was thinking about all this fitness they got on here. Man, they got a lot of selections when it comes to fitness. If you can see right here, I'm just scrolling, man. We got kayaking, kite surfing, mountain biking, Nordic pickleball. Man, I've seen pickleball. I kind of want to try it out, man. It looks pretty fun. 
I've digressed. Let's get back to the video. Now let's jump into this Google Fit. Of course it's gonna work because this is Wear OS. So Google Fit absolutely works on here 100%, even though you are using a Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. So you can see right there, you can get all your heart rate stuff and all your fitness stuff. You can get all your workouts done and track everything you need to as far as Google Fit matched up to your phone. Now I wanna take you into this uh, Galaxy Wear app just to show you how this stuff is actually gonna work on a different Android phone besides a Samsung phone. You can see there, I did not, I don't wanna install Samsung Pay because I'm using a OnePlus phone, which is a, just a regular Android phone. So we got our watch faces here. We can go in and just change them up as we want to. Uh, we can go in and manage them and customize them. And you can do all the same stuff as you could on a regular old Samsung Galaxy phone, which is great because Samsung has opened just about everything up to the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro to be paired with your favorite phone. They're not gonna just lock you in into just using their watch with their stuff. So I can really appreciate that on the Samsung side. It's, it's just really good to see that Google and Samsung are finally playing nice together as far as, you know, just kind of sharing all the goodness that they both provide. And you can have that because it's Android and they play nice together. So for all of you out there wondering, hey, if I was gonna get a OnePlus 11 phone or a Pixel 7 Pro, would I be able to use the best smartwatch on the market, which would be the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro? The answer is yes. So I hope that answers all of your questions. Now I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is I'm having a really good time using this OnePlus 11 Pro. Love this phone, love this watch. Now y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. All right, so let me get this straight there. You made it through this whole video from beginning to end without hitting the like button, you didn't hit the subscribe button, and you didn't even bother hitting the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I get some new stuff up in here. I see how it is though. It's always the one closest to you. You keep on doing you, boo-boo. See you when I see you.